Okay, good afternoon. How are you today? Thank you for joining me. I'm Joy Tent, the founder of African Women in Europe. Yes, African Women in Europe have been doing amazing, amazing work for the past 15 years. And here we are today, 2022, December, nearly 2023. I am so honored to be here with you and sharing with you good stories and long stories. So Africa Women in Europe was started in 2008 and ever growing with objectives and aims. But the one I want to talk to you about is that the few projects that have been started by Africa Women uh, in Europe. The two projects I want to specify with you today are Africa Women in Trade, and the famous Africa Away Diaspora Sako that you all know was registered in Kenya and focusing Kenyans in Europe, women and men. Why do I say that? Women are our center of focus as well as the youth. And that's why I bring these projects, Africa Women in Europe and Africa Women in Trade, joined together with the Af we Diaspora SACO. So Africa Women in Trade is a very, very, very interesting platform because African women in Europe decided they want to go back to the community in our motherland. How can we support our women in business? So we started Africa Women in Trade, thinking of I being a Kenyan, I would go to Kenya, right? And that's where the Awe Diaspora started. And between three years, it was already started our diaspora circle that is now running and looking for members and i hope you can join us as well so the africa women in trade was a way to connect the whole continent as a motherland so has been started was started 2021 under the afcfta that is africa continental free trade area where we are all campaigning for one market in Africa. What does that mean for our women? What does that mean for our youth? We should be getting excited. This is a great movement. Africa made in Africa for Africans. How does that sound? Yes, Agenda 2063 has showed us it is possible and it starts from you and I. And here is my part as a diaspora staying in Germany to bring all this together from my skills, my knowledge, how can we bring in together with the African women in Europe and having brought up the Africa Women in Trade. So Africa Women in Trade is a very interesting platform. It specifies exactly four pillars and you would wonder why we thought four pillars. I don't come from Africa, I come from Kenya. But the four pillars were actually identified by 4,000 women and youth who decided to really come up with solutions and tell us these are the problems and, he, and how can we get the solutions. Some of people we think we don't know the solutions, but they knew the solutions. And as we speak right now, we have four pillars. The first pillar, information. Information is the key to anything in the world. So we are sharing information on our social platform, on our websites, and we have a special website where you, you can also register as a business woman or a youth. You have to be ready for trade because trade is one level higher. After you've done the business in your local region, sold across each other, moved to cross borders, then when you start cross borders, we have started trading. And women are leading in this and we are supporting sharing information and the second one is market access women are so excited and looking forward for market access we are tired we have been told these products are here beautiful product and amazing amazing products and i would ask you to go check on our website to see the products that women are producing the products are ready for market and what does the women say they want market access, and that's our pillar number two. Number pillar number three is investments and grants. And we have seen through different projects in the continent and across other global markets, offering grants 
businesses. We have one famous one that we have all done called Vidu Project. And this Vidu Project has really helped businesses to get started. And now we see small businesses, farmers, uh, cattle farmers, all doing great businesses, starting up slowly, but not ready for trade, but already to start something. And investors are already investing in businesses that want to grow. And I always tell my women, and I hope you agree with me, that we need market access, not money. It's time for trade and not aid. And when you have market access, you have enough to sell. And that way an investor can come in anytime. Even the banks will be happy for you. So the fourth pillar, which is the most important one as well, is the capacity building. Yes, we want to breed. Yes, we want to sell. How are we going to do this? Women, it's our time now to pull ourselves together, our resources, our knowledge, our the environment around to work around with us, help us to get to that level of selling. Yes, there's a lot out there. Yes, you have been doing a lot of courses. Take them serious because it's important to inform yourself where the sales are. If you want to go to global markets, what do they access? And here we are, African women in trade with four pillars, as I mentioned. Information, market access, investments and grant, and capacity building. Now we are really looking for, for the next steps to take us to 2023. And guess what? Market access is the first one. You all said very loud and clear, market access for your women. And we are working towards that the beginning of the year. We are going to focus as well as you have known, AFCFT has identified eight countries eight countries where we can already start trading and we can see that Kenya is already trading with Ghana. Teas, batteries, you name it, coffee, why not? We always think abroad, now we can do it here. So we'll be focusing on the eight countries, so check out on that because we'll be growing ourselves, informing ourselves how to go that under women in trade and hopefully we meet again to really celebrate again this the, the milestone and I always tell you as an entrepreneur, you can sell anything. If what you're not, you have right now is not selling, you need to pivot it, change it, and look what is moving in your country, in your region, before you go to the cross-border. So, work with me in 2023. Feel very proud of yourself, where you are. I've met strong women personally, even supported them to reach the small milli milli step closer to trade and we have a lot more to do but we cannot do this alone together we are strong so i'm looking out to you and see you again very soon